Hi everybody, welcome to you in Polter Extension channel of Engineer Rifat Hatter. Today, we are going to talk about an important disease from Polter diseases. As mycoplasmosis disease, which is called chronic respiratory disease, CRD. Also, it's called air sac disease. It's called mycoplasmosis because of its cause, mycoplasma galiseptical. Also, it's called chronic respiratory disease because of its chronic infection to respiratory system of chickens. Also, it's called air sac disease because it infects the air sacs of the affected bird, causing air sac eulitis. Etiology. The causative agent is Mycoplasma galiseptical, which is not virus, because it has two nucleic acids, DNA and RNA. And it is not bacteria, because it is smaller than bacteria, and it has no cellular membrane. It belongs to PPLO group. This microbe affects the respiratory system of chickens, causing CRD and air circulitis. This microbe is destroyed after 20 minutes at 50 degrees centigrade, but it can live for long months in the bodies of slaughtered and frozen birds at minus 25 degrees centigrade. This microbe is sensitive to common disinfectants, such as formalin and iodine. Also, it is very sensitive to streptomycin, but it is resistant to penicillin. Hostess. It affects the chickens and turkeys. Transmission. This microbe can spread by airborne dust or droplets. Also, it spreads by contact with contaminated equipment. The main problem is that infected parents transmit infection to the hatched chicks through eggs. Cubation period. It is long from 7 to 21 days. Clinical signs. If birds were affected with MEG only, the respiratory signs will be mild and mortality will be limited. But the infection with MEG is usually complicated by E. coli or some respiratory viral infections such as IB and Newcastle viruses, causing the following signs. 1. Trachea rails, coughing, sneezing and nasal discharge. 2. Reducing the consumption and growth rate in broilers and pullets. 3. The affected pairs have pale comb and legs. 4. In layers, besides to the previous signs, egg production decreases by the rate of 5 to 25 percent. Gross lesions. One serious exudate in the nasal passage and the cheesy exudate in trachea and bronchi. Two, cheesy exudate in air sacs cause air sacculitis. Three, in severe cases, there is febrinus, pericarditis, and perihepatitis. Therefore, the liver is covered by fibrinus, white cheesy layer. Prevention. It is difficult to eradicate mycoplasmosis from raising flocks or keeping any flock free from mycoplasmosis. We can use the following procedures. The following program is able to keep raising flocks free from MG. A. Eradicating mycoplasmosis from hatched eggs. 1. Cupating hatched eggs under 46 degrees centigrade for 14 hours then reducing temperature gradually to 37.8 degrees centigrade. 2. Dipping warmed hatched eggs, which have 37 degrees centigrade, pre-incubation in tyrosine solution, 1,500 ppm, for 10 minutes to eradicate MG from eggs. B. Hashid checks the treatment with anti-mycoplasma antibiotics. The first three days of Hashid checks age using tylosin or spectinomycin or longspectin or spiramycin by the rate of 0.5 gram per liter water 
or diamotin by the rate of 0.25 gram per liter water. At the age of three to four weeks, using another dose from any one of the formed antimicroplasma antibiotics for three days. At the age of nine weeks, using another dose from any one of the formed antimicroplasma antibiotics for three days. At the age of 16 weeks, injection with Thailand or Spectam by the rate of one cubic centimeter per kilogram live weight. C. Prevention of the flock free from mycoplasmosis. 1. Carrying out strictly the procedures of biosecurity. 2. Using the system of all in, all out to avoid multi ages in the farm. 3. Preventing visitors to enter the farm or poultry houses. 4. All the equipment must be disinfected before housing chicks. 5. The litter of houses must be new, dry, and disinfected. 6. It is preferable using plastic flats for collecting eggs to be disinfected easily. 7. If respiratory symptoms appear on the breeder's flock, it must be treated by tylosin by the rate of 0.5 gram per liter water or diamotin by the rate of 0.25 gram per liter water for three days or any antimycoplasma antibiotic. Prevention of broilers chicks. During the first three days of a chick's age, using Thailand by the rate of 0.5 gram per liter water, or tamutin by the rate of 0.25 gram per liter water, or another antimycoplasma antibiotics for three days. At the age of three to four weeks, we can give another dose of antimicroplasma antibiotic for three days. Treatment. In drinking water, using tyrosine or spectinomycin, or lincomycin or spiramycin by the rate of 0.5 gram per liter water, or tamotin by the rate of 0.25 gram per liter water, or doxycycline 50% by the rate of 1 gram per liter water, for three to five days. Two, injection, streptomycin by the rate of 100 milligram per kilogram live weight, or spectam by the rate of 10 to 30 milligram per bed, or spiramycin by the rate of 30 to 50 milligram per bed, two to three times with two days interval. Finally, Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to press subscribe, like, and share. If you have any inquiry related to this video, please comment and I'll reply with a suitable answer. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.